with Sarah and I have something different today. It's called mail art or it's not art mail. I'm pretty sure it's mail art. Um, I get emails from a website called artandsassy.ning.com and it's a trading site and this one was about an art mail swap and there were five, <laughs> I think there were five spots so so I, it was probably like the first day the email went out anyway I'll keep this short uh, I'm like oh okay that's kind of, I had been looking at videos of art mail and thought I really wanted to try it it was the, it was a beach theme and I knew I'm like I don't have that much beach that much beach embellishments or beach stamps or beach anything um, but I d had just made the kiddo you know that those beachy cards I should have put that up here while I was talking about this. But anyway, like here, I have these guys. So I was like, oh, okay. So that was kind of in my head. So I come down here and I start playing around. So one of the requirements was it had to be four by six or bigger. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a little rough throat. So what I decided, I just pulled out, these are, um, I think they're five by seven. <coughs> seven and a quarter by five and a quarter. And these are the recollections envelopes that we get to do our mini albums. So I have tons of these. I have black, um, white, and you know, the other color, <laughs> khaki or whatever it is, <gasps> craft. But I also had these in my stash and I think I might pull this off. I've seen people pull this off. Um, and do it make some of these these are big these are like a nine I think yeah nine by so anyway I'll show you what I did I just played around because it was my first time ever doing it I'll start with the beginning they got better as I went uh, these are a little messy and a bit of a mess I pulled out some things I haven't used for a very long time like my sprays I have dilution sprays. I put gloves on. That's why my hands are not covered in spray because these things are, they stain. I used, for the sand, I actually use this metallic copper dauber Adirondack paint, which I regretted because metal, because it was the only brown dauber. I have burnt sienna sitting right here. I could have just painted it. That's kind of, that's not exactly brown. I have plenty of brown paint regardless. Um, Here's what I did. Um, let me put these aside too. So I sprayed it. I kind of went with um, sky. So yellow, orange, pink, and blues for the bottom. And then I just swirl, I just went like this with the metallic paint for the sand. That was kind of what I went with. Then um, I ended up using some Faber Castell, my Faber Castell pit pens. What else? Um, I have this white one. I think I got this at Michael's, so that was pretty cool. I colored in my stamps, my um, cloud stamps with that. Oh, and I had a rub-ons, and I don't know how I even found this thing, but it was a summer rub-ons rub thing. So I used that all up. And then on this one, I used my Surfer kit out. But the only thing was, I painted his face because I couldn't get it to be opaque enough with all the color behind it and then I had to like draw their little faces back on um it's pretty good I mean whatever this little where you write the address I just traced this die um on there and then painted that white so I mean I don't know it's it's mail art this is what it is I think it would be pretty cool to kind of get that have that in your mailbox so oh and these stamps are some of the um i just pulled whatever kind of stamp i could find that had anything summery on it which i don't have a lot i've discovered um a couple of lawn foam ones with clouds and suns and a kite i thought the kite would be cute and i didn't end up using that um again the underwater thing and all that stuff so i mean but it could have i mean beach I don't know. It could just be one big umbrella or something. So I started getting more creative after, but this was my initial idea. So I did him. I did 
the sandcastle kiddo and she poor thing oh poor thing <laughs> but this one i put way too much metallic paint i was just blah, 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 you know i was doing my mixed media thing so anyway and then this is how this one came out just i like the um the rub ones turned out really good i like those and this just says summertime so after I sprayed them, then I flipped the I flipped the envelope and just rubbed it in the rest of the colors. That's how I did the back. So the backs are crazy. And then this one is Hula Girl. And she's cool, but you can't really I mean I used my um my jelly roll pens on stuff and she's kind of metallic y looking too. I don't know. I yeah, listen, it was my first attempt. And then I, I love I knew I had this palm tree, so I thought for Hula Girl that's perfect summer rub on and a sun back here so those are those three then i was like i was done that <clears throat> wanted to try a different technique and then i went with this so i pulled out my distress inks which you know good old tim holtz distress inks and i started i think i just did blue blue pink orange yellow that's kind of what I did. I just rubbed them on with the applicator um, to cover the card, I mean the envelope, and then did the same thing with the um, address area, um, did some stamping, and colored it. And this time I colored it with my distress markers. So, oh my gosh, that's Maya's guitar again. So I like these. These are a little more calm, and it's beach. And then, you know what I was watching? One of the videos I watch is Yoli Bean, Yolanda. And she said that she likes to write something on her art from her own hand. So just doodle, do something. Um, but this, t so I just said, okay, because after I stamped, I was like, well, that's it. Oh, I actually did a stencil on the bottom too. I have this little like wavy looking thing. It's a mess. And put that on the water. Um, so this says, take it easy, summertime at the shore. And I put relax down here and then on the back. I just kind of wrote in block letters, summertime, fun, enjoy, relax, play. And I did the same coloring on the back. Um, and I mean, it's not real blended or anything, but I thought it, it looked kind of cool. And I love that pit pen, the white pit pen, just to color the clouds really turned out cool, nice and soft. And then this is the last one I made. And I decided to move my son to the other side of the envelope because the stamps would go here. So I thought, well, why am I putting like a main image over there? Anyway, and this is the same thing, basically. Um, again, I colored it with everything distress on this one. Um, summer at the shore. This time I just put summer at the shore, take it easy, relax, summertime fun, play, relax, enjoy. So I thought that was, you know, it's beach. I mean, it is beach, but it's not the beach, but whatever. But I thought, okay, then long story short well not really long story short when i went back to art and sassy all the spots were filled there were only five spots and it was like a day but i didn't know if i wanted to sign up for it because um i wasn't sure what to do or how to do it but this is probably what i'm going to do for another couple days i want to play around make it a few more with a theme of my choosing like grab a stamp set of my choosing and then see what I come up with. Um, I know people do collage on these. Finesse, I think her name was Finesse, um, pink, fluorescent pink glass sent me my pennant in art mail. And I think I, don't, I think I threw it out, but I meant to save it and I just can't find it. I went back to find it, but every when I clean my area, I just like, it gets, oh, whatever, but Finesse, Send me more art mail <laughs> if you see this or mail art. I don't know what you call it. Um, but I think it's really cool like to send your goodies to someone in a cool envelope. So um, that's it, guys. I got to go for a run. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.